Hola. Me llamo Unon. Today, we are going to learn grammar rules in Spanish. So, you know Ugaton? He always feels my sound whenever I come next to him and there is either elephant or not intelligent on. Ha ha ha. Time to steal your sound again. Say what I mean? In Spanish, whenever the letter you come between key and either your eye, it stays silent. Do you know why? Without it, the key would make its soft sound, which sounds like A in Spanish. Ch in Spanish sounds like H in English. H is silent in Spanish. For example, in the words gelatina and girar, the key makes Ch sound. In the word guerra and guitarra, the U is silent because there is an E or I after it. However, Gatton refuses to see my sound when there is a bion or oson after me. For example, au en antiguo. The U makes its sound. Without the U in between key and A or O, it makes its original sound. For example, in gato en gorra. If there is a consonant after go, then he make my vowel sound and not my consonant sound. For example, in the word laguna. Same with cason. She makes the same sound as so long when she is before elephant or not intelligent on. For example, in cerrar en círculo. But, if you replace cason with cu, then cason sound they put. For example, in que en quizás. If you replace it with cu, then it will sound like cu in English. Si follows by a or a has it make its hard sound. For example, in carro en comer. Q followed by a consonant is the same rule, too. For example, in culebra. But, there is a way for the you to still make its sound between key and tie or I. Abuela. Cunning. Hola, me amo no Diego. I am no Abuela. Abuela is grand mater in Spanish. When tell ter wants to still have its sound between and enter your eye, it needs to dot over it zed. Tatis called the resist. Follow me and I will show you an example. Welcome to Antarctica. Er, we have pingandino. The word is incomplete. This word is supposed to be pronounced. Pinguino. It means penguin. When you go in between. So, please you don't use. I leave it a try. Pinguino. Oh no, it didn't work. Abuela, you try. I don't want to cross my own dear is smooth. Pinguino. It won't. The word pronounced how we wanted it to pronounce. Adios, abuela. Adios, uno. Let's return back to the classroom. No, let's review. We learned that when you is between key and tie or I, it is silent. If you is between key and A, O, or a consonant, it is not silent. If you remove the U between key and tie slash I, the key will make chase sound. Chase sound like H in Spanish, and H is silent. If there are two dots over the U between the key and tie or I, then it still makes its sound. If he is directly followed by a oro, then it makes its hard sound. If Q is followed by a consonant, then you make its vowel sound. If C is directly followed by your I, it makes the same sound as S. If C is directly followed by a oro, then it makes its hard sound. Q always makes the K sound and it never presses say oro. Q always makes the same sound as Q in English, no matter what vowel you put after it. If Q is followed by a consonant, then you make its vowel sound. And your ears never comes after C. That's all for now. Adios.